I put a sheet on the bed. Why? I don't know. Got bored. Switch things up. <sighs> I'm out of breath now. Yes, I got out of breath from putting a sheet on my bed. This thing barely fits for some reason. It's the correct size, but one of the corners just refuses to go on every time. And I don't know why. And I'll never know why. So, yeah. Right now I have another video uploading on my camera. I'm on my camera phone, so I'm just using my regular phone. So, you already saw the thumbnail and the... Literally everything, so you know what this video is about. I was seriously about to say thumbnails. Formats! Specifically for video. Why? I don't know. Why are you asking me? Now, I'm going over the main four in this video. There is a fifth I would like to do, but I don't own any of them anymore. And I don't own a player, so... Yeah, there's not really a way of me actually doing that. Um, I'll just say right now, quick honorable mention, men, yeah, quick honorable mention to Betamax. That was, that's what I was talking about right there. Um, I gave my Star Wars Betamax to one of my friends who's just Star Wars geek. So, yeah. Other than that, let's get straight into this. Going over the main four, and I... I did bring one oddball. Um, I could have brought in two oddballs had I not sold my DS, but... Uh, let's just get started with the oldest, obviously. VHS. I have a couple VHSs. VHS was fun. Like, it wasn't the best format. The best format, probably digital. I know most basic answer, but still. Digital can range anywhere from the worst to the best, so it's most likely just going to be considered the best. But VHS, depending on the movie, it can fit the style. Like, if you're watching something old, like Bob the Builder. Yes, Bob the Builder is actually pretty old. When was this released? 2005! Well, forget exact, forget everything I said. Rugrats. <laughs> Rugrats is old, isn't it? We're checking this. 1998. I'll take it. VHS, like, if it, if it fits, it fits. Like, you take an old movie, something like Willy Wonka, or, I don't know, Top Gun. I'm just looking at my shelf right now. Matrix doesn't really fit. That's more new. Mostly animated movies fit best. Like, I got Pokemon here. Stuff like that. It's gonna look pretty good. VHS was the home for a lot of things. Black and white films were on VHS. Color films. Animated films. The first color films. <laughs> Anime. Everything. Everything. And again, we got Pokemon and Hamtaro, which no one knows for some reason. I've met too many people that don't know Hamtaro. I also have yet to finish it because I kind of got bored with it. Like, I got pretty far. I have no clue because it's been a, at, least, like, at least a year since I actually watched it. But yeah, Hamtaro is fun. It's like a good, relaxed anime. <laughs> good anime to just chill out on a Saturday morning or something. <laughs> Why would you do that when you have um, Bugs Bunny, though? Actual Saturday morning cartoons. So, v like I said, VHS is fun. How do you know it's fun? Because colors! Is there advertisements in this? Yes. What 
is this? I'm so confused. Um, but yeah. Uh, yellow tape. That one has nothing in it. Orange tape. Basic black tape. <laughs> Finally, I got one to do it correctly. <laughs> um, dang it. I don't want to get that out. Because it's part of my camera setup. All right. It's one of these two. <laughs> Pretty sure it's this one because it's Paramount. Yep. Some VHSs were smart and knew that idiots would throw the case away. And they put the label on there. Others did not. Like all four tapes that I have out here. Mostly Paramount did that. And we thank Paramount for doing that. What's this? Bob the Builder getting the Joe. Well, that makes sense. Yeah, some tapes just have random text on them that I don't understand. The people making the tapes and probably people in the stores probably did understand, but probably. I have nothing to go off there. <laughs> I never script my videos, can you tell? Alright. Um, you have different types of cases. Like, these three are all on the sleeve cover. Then you got your clamshell case. Nice and big. I use those normally for my camera setup. And, nah, I don't need to add more to this. So, yeah. VHS, I mean, again, its quality wasn't the best. Most VHSs, there are a few later ones, like, probably... Bob the Builder probably would be an example. I'm saying probably a lot again, dang it. Something like Bob the Builder, maybe the Matrix over there. Um, I know Men in Black had a widescreen release for VHS. Some of them are in 4x3, others are in 16x9. I think I'm saying those numbers correctly. Like, I always rem I'm pretty sure most people remember the numbers, but they never remember the order. And I've realized that I've spent at least five minutes talking about this, so. On to the next thing. We aren't going to the oddball yet. That's after. Um, here's your <laughs> really quick one DVDs. These still exist today, people just forget about them. Like, you go to Walmart, you see the $5 DVDs, and it's, like, good stuff. Good DVDs, like, I don't know, Matrix or something? I don't know. Why would I know? I don't buy them. My grandfather does. DVDs are actually pretty old. Remember, DVDs and VHSs were, were surviving together for a long time. But DVDs, you're just your basic discs. They weren't fun. Like, the most fun you got were different colored cases. Or the sleeves. Like, my Turtles one where it has the 3D image. Yeah, that's fun. Like, what happened? I mean, I understand you can't really do much for a disc, but what happened? You had, you at least had some stuff inside normally, but the colors are gone. I mean, the most colors you normally find, like I said, are on the cases. You can find, I know, Bob the Builder and the SpongeBob movie had yellow cases. Um, some Sesame Street... DVDs had red cases, mostly Elmo's World, I think. I say I think, but I know from experience. I own them still somewhere. I have no clue where they are. Yeah. DVDs, like, at, at least you have the menus. That's the thing. On the outside, DVDs aren't very fun. 
But once you actually put them in your DVD player, they're they're okay. You got your menus, you got the special features. You sometimes you have a game. I don't remember what it was, but I remember that I had a, some kind of DVD with a game in it. But like DVDs and VHSs. If you're from my time, Gen Z, you probably picked one of these two. You stuck with it, and that is where your nostalgia lies now. So, on to the next thing. Uh, yeah, we're going to the oddball. Let me grab the player. I've done a video on this before. I think I went over it pretty well. It, the video did pretty good, too. I mean, pretty good is kind of an understatement nowadays for my channel. Which, I mean, say we took my old, old channel. Yeah, that was, like, the best, one of the best. That would be, like, one of the best videos on that channel. Nowadays, not so much. I mean, considering I have, I think now it's four videos in the thousands, and for some reason the Gokaiger video went way up, I posted that in the right time, and I just haven't been able to work upon it since I don't, I mean, my collection is big. I was able to work off of it with the Megazord and the Dragonzord. Plus the Dragon Dagger. Gold Power Staff did not do good. I don't know what's up with Zeo right now, but it is not surviving at all. Then I got a bunch of figures. That video did pretty good, and I had the Blade Blaster in it. And at one point, I did um, the White Tiger Zord and Saba. That did okay. Actually, no, that one did really good, too. That one did better than the Dragon Zord, which honestly kind of surprises me. But either way, I was not able to, to like, work off of it too much after that. Like, looking at my collection... In fact, I know where I went after that. I went... For Transformers. Just trying to survive a little bit more. And that failed horribly. This one didn't do that bad, in my opinion, but it still was pretty bad. I think it had, like, maybe 200 views. I can't check on my other phone because it's still uploading. Sneak peek, I got an NES video coming up. I wonder which video will end up being uploaded first. That one, which is currently exporting from CapCut, or this. But, let's get into what I was actually talking about originally. <sighs> Death. Oh, hey, I'd actually do that. Move it down slightly, and there we go. <sighs> video now. This used mini DVDs. See if I can pull. There it is. <laughs> Get blinded. Ooh, this is really scratched up. Mini DVDs. Batteries. Probably an inch on the screen, I'd give it. Inch, maybe inch and a half. And up, yeah, that, I think going up is an inch. I have no clue how much an inch is. <laughs> I'll be honest, without a ruler, I have no clue how much an inch actually is. But the point is, this was horrible. But people survived with it. The audio was good. The quality was horrible. 
like I said, I did a video on this. If you want a better explanation, go watch that video. This is just a fun oddball to throw in here. And just because, I mean, this video is pretty boring, honestly. Hopefully I can make the audio one better. So! That's literally all I'm going to show for that. I've got a stack of just stuff growing over here. I'm ready to knock it down. So, the last thing. I'm pretty sure everyone saw this coming. Blu-ray. This is where physical media died. Now, I am going to talk about digital in a minute. But this here is the basically the last. I don't think we're getting any more physical movie options. I'm thinking we die at Blu-ray, and that's not a good thing. If we died at DVD, then sure. That was fun, at least. Blu-ray. Ah, Blu-ray. Blu-ray feels like... I mean, quality-wise, it's better. It's a better image. But it just feels like cheaper DVD, honestly. Like, you swapped where the production money goes from fun to good quality. And it just feels like those four-in-one movies, honestly. I only have Toy Story here because I didn't feel like finding any Blu-rays. But, taking a look at it. Blu-ray case, I mean, no one's surprised by this uh, any anymore blu-ray case we see everywhere it's the xbox case i'm pretty sure it's the playstation case it's just not that interesting you got your small inserts whatever this is your copy on dvd as we still needed this because it was better and this, the Blu-ray copy. Yep, that's a Blu-ray disc. Now you're getting blinded by a bigger disc. In my opinion, the disc does the disc does feel nice. Feels better than the DVD one. Let's. <sighs> It's just another DVD. Yeah, someone's probably going to take this. I do not care. We do not care. Go ahead. No one actually cares about those. I don't I don't think I've ever met someone who actually redeemed the digital version. So if you take it, we are it's not used. I'll tell you that. In fact, I'll give you a toy story. If you want it, I'll give you a Toy Story 3, too. I don't know why you want this. I mean, digital copies suck. What is it? Oh! Well, I don't think I'm giving you the digital copy. This is interesting to me. Do your favorite movies on the go with Disney file digital copy disc? Or blah blah blah. Choose format. Use the code from the insert to transfer and watch on your computer or co compatible portable device. Huh. I have Windows XP. That might work. <laughs> Does it say it on the back? I'm slightly interested now. <laughs> Dang it, I'm actually interested in this. Why?
Oh, I can put it on an iPod? Mmm. Jeez, Sony, did you not have enough money? I know you made Blu-ray. But did you have to advertise the BS3, too? You can see that says PlayStation 3. Yeah, no one really likes Blu-ray that much, though. Now, I'm going to throw this to the side. In other words, it was to the side already, so on screen is the side. <sighs> Let's talk about digital. Digital comes in many ways. It can come from those the disc like I just told you. It can come from YouTube, streaming services, piracy. But the thing is, digital loses all of the fun. Digital is the movie and nothing else. Like, you take a VHS. Like, here's the thing I see with, like, a lot of different formats. Say you have a playlist. Like, an actual Spotify or YouTube music. Who uses YouTube music? I don't know. SoundCloud? What else exists nowadays? I use cassettes. <laughs> Say you take a modern-day playlist. How many of those songs do you skip without even thinking? If you take a vinyl record, a cassette, maybe not a CD, depends on the CD, it's more likely that you aren't going to skip. You might just stop watching entirely. If you're watching a movie, you might fast forward through some parts. But the point is, you're going to enjoy it more. Because you have the whole thing. You're actually, like, paying attention to it. You have TikTok, YouTube Shorts, whatever reels exist currently. You know how they have to put the, like, Family Guy clip, random cheap mobile game clip, split screen. It's trashed upon all the time. There's a reason for that. Our attention span has gotten so bad that if we're on our phone, we need so many things happening at the same time. I'm on my phone, not 24-7, because I have other things that I actually do, but so often, like, throughout my entire day, I'll be honest, today is probably the one day where I, at least so far, it's only 12-17, but so far, it's seeming like today is the day where I'm on my phone the least, phone, iPad, just YouTube in general. I'm only on YouTube. I don't know where I was going with that. I've entirely forgot everything I said. Crap. By the way, point is, if you take, like, any of these... Except video now, because you're just going to stop watching that immediately. You're more likely to just pay attention. Watch the whole thing. Stay off your phone. I ran out of things to say. <laughs> Again. <sighs> I think the world's telling me to end this video. That was all the, f that was kind of the format wars. I'm just going to upload this video, probably delete it later. Because even I don't like this. All right, see ya.